Looking to build a beastly new AMD Ryzen rig? The motherboard is undoubtedly the backbone, but picking the right one for AM5 can sure feel like a maze. That's why today, we're cutting through the noise to bring you the 5 best AM5 motherboards to unleash the full potential of your next Ryzen build. So, let's get started. We start our list with the Gigabyte A620i, which is all about getting you onto the AM5 platform without breaking the bank. As you know, the A620 chipset is AMD's entry-level offering for their latest Ryzen processors. And while you might think these boards are just for the really basic CPUs, you can actually pair this with a pretty respectable mid-range chip. I mean, you could even throw a Ryzen 9 in there in certain circumstances. For what it is, the Gigabyte A620i packs a surprising punch. It's got a 5 plus 2 plus 1 phase VRM with a heatsink, which is a solid foundation. And from what I've gathered, that should be plenty for the non-X Ryzen chips and likely even handle the 7600X, 7700X, and 7800X 3D, as well as the lower power 65 watt Ryzen 9000 series down the line. Now, being a mini ITX board, it's compact, which means you've got two RAM slots. You also get a single PCIe 4.0 M.2 slot, for your super fast NVMe SSD. Then, around the back, you'll find a good selection of ports two USB A 2.0, one USB A 3.2 Gen 2, a couple of USB A 3.2 Gen 1, and a USB C 3.2 Gen 1 port, plus gigabit Ethernet. You know, there are other A620 boards out there, like the MSI Pro A620ME, which might save you a few bucks. But here's why this Gigabyte board stands out. The consensus is that its VRM setup is just a touch more robust, and that heatsink is a nice touch, especially since many other budget A620 boards skimp on that. So, if your main goal is to jump into the world of DDR5 RAM and the latest AMD tech without emptying your wallet, the Gigabyte A620i looks like a smart starting point. Next, we've got the MSI MAG X870 Tomahawk Wi-Fi. Now, this board gives off a real premium feel at less than a premium price. People have already become fans of its impressive build quality, and it's packed with lots of connectivity options. When it comes to performance, the 14 plus 2 plus 1 VRMs seem to handle both gaming and productivity tasks really well. It also opens up some nice overclocking potential for those high-end AM5 CPUs. Users who've put it through its paces mention the VRMs stay surprisingly cool under pressure. What's also cool about this board is how user-friendly it is. Apparently, MSI has included a bunch of what they call easy DIY features, which is pretty much like having a helping hand during the PC building process. And for the gamers out there, this motherboard has an AI LAN manager tool that's getting some buzz. The idea is it helps prioritize network traffic to give you the lowest possible ping, which is always a win in competitive games. Connectivity-wise, you're looking at a ton of USB ports, 11 on the back and 9 up front, so you shouldn't be running out of places to plug things in anytime soon. The only slight drawback some people mention is the four SATA 3 connectors. For a board in this price range, a few more would have been nice. But overall, the MSI MAG X870 Tomahawk Wi-Fi looks like a solid all-around performer with some really thoughtful features. If you're serious about competitive gaming or a first-time builder looking for a smoother experience, this board definitely deserves a look. At number 3, we have the Gigabyte X870e Aorus Elite. Now, this is a more advanced motherboard rocking the very latest X870E chipset, so you know it's built to squeeze every last bit of performance out of those AM5 Ryzen CPUs. It boasts a beefy 16 plus 2 plus 2 VRM setup, rated at 110A. So, if you were lucky enough to snag a Ryzen 7 9800X 3D, this board is ready for it. And for the memory enthusiasts out there, it supports speeds up to DDR5 8600, which is backed by AI overclocking. That's pretty neat since it can figure out the best settings for your specific components. And this board is quite loaded in regard to storage and connectivity as well. You get four M.2 slots for your NVMe SSDs, and three of them are the blazing fast PCIe 5.0. You're also swimming in USB ports with two super speedy USB 4.0 ports with 40 gigabit per seconds, four USB A 3.2 Gen 2, four USB A 3.2 Gen 1, and even a couple of USB A 2.0 ports for good measure. And for networking, you're future proofed with Wi Fi 7, Bluetooth 5.4, and even a 5GBE Ethernet port. But here's the thing it's not just about the raw specs. Gigabyte has really focused on those little quality of life improvements here. You see the Wi Fi antenna? It's a simple push on now. No more messing with those tiny screw pigtails. All the M.2 slots are toolless too. That means no more hunting for dropped screws. Even the M.2 heatsinks have magnets to help you line them up perfectly. Besides, the main PCIe 5.0 slot even has an easy unlatch button. And of course, there are debug LEDs. 
always a welcome sight when you're troubleshooting. So with the Gigabyte X870E Aorus Elite, you're not just getting top-tier performance, you're also getting a board that's clearly designed with the builder in mind, making the whole experience just that much better. At number 2, we've got the MSI MPG X870E Carbon Wi-Fi, which really showcases what AMD's latest X870E chipset brings to the AM5 platform. We're talking about a top-of-the-line board here, loaded with pretty much every cutting-edge connectivity option you could want. It's got PCIe 5.0 for those super-fast graphics cards and SSDs, support for seriously speedy DDR5 RAM at 8400 MHz and beyond, USB 4.0 for blazing fast transfers, 5GBE networking, and the latest Wi-Fi 7 with Bluetooth 5.4. From what people are saying, pairing this board with a high-end CPU like the AMD Ryzen 7 9800X3D really makes things fly. It's not just about the benchmark numbers, though. This motherboard is absolutely packed with ports, headers, and slots. You're getting two USB-C 4.0 ports running at a blistering 40 gigabit per second, two more USB-C ports at 10 gigabit per second, and a whopping nine USB-A ports, also at 10 gigabit per second. It's interesting to see they've skipped the older USB 2.0 and 5 gigabit per second ports entirely, which suggests a clear focus on future proofing and pushing for faster devices, while still letting you plug in your older stuff. Power delivery looks robust too, with an 18 plus 2 plus 1 DRPS teamed power stage design. Even the automatic settings in the BIOS are pretty spot on, working seamlessly with high speed DDR5 memory and top tier CPUs. Now, the one thing that might make you pause is the price. This motherboard is definitely on the higher end, and with component prices potentially going up, it might be a stretch for some budgets. But if that doesn't concern you, the MSI MPG X870E Carbon Wi-Fi is definitely a serious contender for any AM5 build. And finally, at number one, we've got the Asus ROG Strix X670E e Gaming. Absolute best motherboards for your Ryzen 7000 or 9000 series CPU, this one consistently has to come up in any conversation. For starters, this board is just loaded with expansion options. We're talking a ton of PCIe X16 and M.2 slots. But here's the real kicker. A good chunk of these are running at those blazing fast PCIe 5.0 speeds. You get two PCIe 5.0 X16 slots and three PCIe 5.0 M.2 slots for your SSDs. That's a a serious amount of PCIe 5.0 bandwidth, even for an X670E board, since most others in this category only give you two PCIe 5.0 M.2 slots. Power delivery is also top-notch, with an 18 plus 2 stage VRM design. That's more than enough juice, even if you're rocking the top-of-the-line Ryzen 9 9950X. And for memory, it supports DDR5 speeds up to 8000 MHz, and it's got plenty of headroom for overclocking your CPU, RAM, and other components. But it's not just about the headline features. The Strix also nails the fundamentals. You've got eight fan headers, which is great for keeping things cool. There's an error code display, which can be a lifesaver when troubleshooting. Plus, it's got heat sinks for your SSDs and a crazy number of USB ports on the front of the case. Looking at the back panel, you'll find even more. 12 USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports and one super fast 3.2 Gen 2x2 port. For networking, it uses Intel's 2.5 gigabit Ethernet, which is plenty for gaming and content creation. And if you're serious about your audio, the five audio jacks plus optical output are a nice touch. You know, even if you're not super into the nitty gritty specs, there's one thing that's hard to ignore. This board just looks fantastic. It's got that classic ROG aesthetic, a sleek black design with tasteful RGB lighting without being over the top with branding. It's the kind of look that fits in with just about any build theme. So when you put it all together, the Asus ROG Strix X670EE Gaming really stands out as the top dog. It's got the performance, the features, and even the looks to make it a truly exceptional centerpiece for your high-end Ryzen build. Thanks for watching. If you want more videos like these, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Also, press the bell icon for instant notification 